<laughs> Let me read the question. The passenger is standing on the platform at the beginning of nth coach of a train. If the train starts moving with constant acceleration, the third coach passes by the passenger in time five seconds and the rest of the train, including third coach in Delta two, 20 seconds. How many coaches are in the train and in what time interval did the last coach pass pass by the passenger? Okay, where is the, the this will be the, so we'll give number Eight, nine, ten, eleven. We don't know how many. <laughs> so I think it's not advisable to give the numbers because we don't know exactly. No. So I, that was how many coaches are in the train. So I don't know the number. So therefore, I'll just indicate only the one, two, three, four. That will be sufficient. Like this, we will put some n number of coaches are there. Okay, and this was the third one. It is not supporting. Okay, let, let's do one thing. The third coach is this one. And, and the passenger varies. Is there? At this particular thing. So this is what happens in <coughs> at t equal to zero. Then in, in five seconds, the passenger position will not change. Will be there only on the platform. The train definitely will move. Will come to this position. Okay, and, and how much of time it will take? It will take the time interval, say five seconds. Next, after 20 seconds, train including the third coach will pass through the passenger. Okay, the passenger position we are not going to change will be there only. And the last bogey will will cross it. <coughs> Hope everyone is able to understand. Through the diagram, I'm trying to explain this one. Okay, this is the last bogey that one. In what emitter did the last coach pass by the passenger? Okay, let's little bit. The last bogey, this is the last bogey, which we will put in this way. What is the time interval that one last bogey means I think I think we have to little bit this diagram. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to give the better picture of this question through this diagram. So rest all will write equations. Will be like this and Okay, this, so what is this interval of time? It was given 20 seconds. <coughs> the third coach pa passes the passenger by five seconds and the rest of the 10, including third coach in 20 seconds. So this time interval, we'll call it as 20 seconds. Now he's asking this one. There's a last coach. T equal to zero, five seconds, delta T two. 
this one so i think now you how many coaches are there in the train the total number of coaches we have to find out so already 3 4 i indicated so we have to calculate this total number of coaches let it be n so what is the length of each coach let me write l okay able to understand now the fine the length of so let's let me indicate here length of each coach length of let l be the length of each coach you know so what is the time it will take for it to cover it will it will take it here also i'll indicate at least so this l should be equal to a into 5 square by 2 then total number of coaches how many, how many are there n so then n minus 2 coaches what is the time taken will be 20 seconds so this this n coaches are there so what we'll write here this will become n minus 2 coaches so what is n capital n will be the number of coaches so therefore what is the equation we can write n minus 2 coaches into n length of each coach into n minus 2 will be a 20 square by 2 there's the equation 1 equation 2 time taken for these many coaches to pass through okay the, the, the everything will become 20 seconds so yeah, yeah till from year to year will be 20 from the second diagram to last diagram time taken for n minus 2 coaches to reach the person so will be equal to this much here so solving 192 what are the unknown things uh, l l i think dividing these two will get number of coaches so 1 divided by 2 this will become n minus 2 by l by l is equal to 20 square by a 2 by pi square a by 2. Solving this, we'll get the number of coaches as n minus 2 as, or say n is equal to 18 we'll get. So these are the total number of coaches. How many coaches? 1, 2, 3, 4. So what I can write now? This will become 18. So now, now I can say that as the 18th coach is there. In what time interval did the last coach pass by the passenger? I think this is the last coach. So the 17 number shall I give now because now I have a data. 17 will come here. This will be 17th coach. The, what is the time taken for the 18th coach to calculate? So here is what? Now I can fill up 18, 17, 16 because n equal to 18 I got it. No, no. Okay, let me add up. Okay, this will be 16. Time taken. So this has to be determined. Of this 18, 18, okay, shall we calculate <coughs> the time taken? So th this, this interval of time has to be determined. Between these two events, this interval of time has to be determined here. So shall we calculate this interval of time? Because I know this, this will be total 20. This, this is what 20 we have. So if you can calculate this interval of time, our problem will be solved. So how many coaches will pass? How many coaches? So if you start counting from here, four, like a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You calculate so how much you'll get? 15 coaches. 15 L half eight, some T naught square. We will call this as some T 
fifty. So this will become fifteen L A T square by two. We know A and also we know. <coughs> and so what is what is this T you should call? Time taken for the last bogey to reach person, or the time taken for the seventeenth bogey to cross the person. Then, then we know this time interval, twenty. So, if you can take the difference of twenty minus t, I'll get the time taken for the eighteenth bogey, last bogey to pass through the person. Hmm. So, what is t? We should get time taken. By seventeenth <coughs> time taken by eighteenth bogey to reach the passenger. The front end. Then, then what we have to calculate is this, this interval of time, delta. T L write it. What is delta T? Time taken by eighteenth bogey to cross the passenger. I think T is the time taken by the the front end of the bogey to reach the passenger. So therefore, so now uh, okay, we know L and A. So after getting solving this. We'll get the t. Nineteen point three six seconds. So now delta t is what we can write twenty minus. Nineteen point three six seconds. So this will be the zero point six five seconds. Okay. See this. Uh, will so these are the uh, simple way of asking some questions, sir. Okay. I'll take the next one. <coughs> 